Today's top stories. President Bush laid down harsh criticism against China regarding its human rights record, pressing for openness and justice in a speech in Thailand ahead of his planned attendance of the Beijing Olympic Games. Bush has recently come under fire by many human rights groups for his decision to attend the Olympic Games in China and for what they call his soft approach in confronting Beijing's human rights violations. China's foreign ministry spokesman responded to President Bush's speech today in a press release, calling for a dialogue with the U.S. to address any human rights concerns. President Bush will be in China tomorrow and has promised not to politicize the Olympic Games. Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice said today that Iran has quote a way out of its long-standing nuclear dispute, but warned that major powers would not accept half answers on international demands to halt its sensitive uranium enrichment work. Increasing isolation is costing Iran, Rice told the magazine Politico, adding, quote, "I think that's one reason that you're seeing them try to give half answers rather than simply saying no. But the fact is, we won't accept half answers either." When asked if the U.S. will get tougher on Iran, Rice said Washington has, quote, "been pretty tough with them already," adding, quote, "they should have felt like time is running out quite a long time ago." She reiterated there was consensus among the five plus one that Iran's answer was not adequate and not serious, adding that the next step would be to move towards another UN Security Council resolution. But Russia's UN envoy Vitaly Cherkin played down the talks of more sanctions, saying yesterday that there has been quote no firm agreement or understanding on the issue. Meanwhile, the IAEA's deputy director Ali Hainonen. Arrived in Iran today for a new round of talks on cooperation with the UN nuclear watchdog. As Iranian media marked Journalist Day today, a fresh campaign named Stop was launched yesterday by a coalition of various Iranian and international human rights groups. It felt renewed urgency after the execution of Yagub Mirahand, a reporter and civil rights activist in Baluchistan province, on Tuesday on security-related charges. Iranian journalists are said to be at risk of wider and more severe crackdown in the months to come, in light of a proposed bill calling for the death penalty for online crimes aimed at dissident bloggers, which was submitted to Majlis on July 2nd. These stories and more at IranVNC.com.